Hi, I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. In this video, we're talking about cinemagraphs and how to make them with a drone. First, what is a cinemagraph? A cinemagraph is a cross between a still photo and a video. They are animations in which some elements are moving and some elements are still. They transition seamlessly and repeat in an infinite loop. You can use these animations to add flair and interest to your photos and bring your drone footage to life. They are great for capturing people's interest and creating unique residential real estate listings or other marketing purposes. So how do you make a cinemagraph? The first thing you have to do is get out there and get some footage. Here are three things to keep in mind when you're preparing to shoot. First, some elements need to be moving and some elements need to be still. Plan in advance where you want to shoot and what elements you want to keep in motion and which elements you want to keep still. Two, because the motion needs to transition seamlessly, try to pick something subtle and smooth. Drastic movements can make it hard to loop smoothly and you really want to consider something with a nice organic motion. Three, keep your drone perfectly still and record 10 to 15 seconds of video. This will make sure you have enough video footage to work with in post-production for creating your cinemagraph. Once you have your drone footage, go ahead and open it up in Photoshop. This is where things can get tricky, so I'm going to break it down into seven steps. Step one, trim the video to the exact clip you want to repeat. Take off the beginning and end segments to remove any possible motions or jitter, and make sure the overall clip length is about two to three seconds in the middle. You can zoom in on the clip by using the slider at the bottom, and you want to play the clip a few times to see how well it loops. Step two, duplicate the clip. You can do this by dragging the clip down to the new layer icon at the bottom right. Step three, align the two layers. Drag the beginning of the bottom layer to the end of the top layer. This way the clip will start and end at the exact same frame. Expand the bottom layer to overlap the top layer by at least one to two seconds. Then crop the extra off the end. Step four, fade the top layer using keyframes. Where the new clip begins, start to fade out the top layer. It should fade out to 0% by the end of the video. Now when you play the video, the clip fades into itself, making a smoother transition. Because it doesn't line up perfectly, it is still noticeable where the clips overlap, but that is okay. Step five, stamp the still image of the first frame on top of the whole thing by pressing Command Alt Shift E. Drag it to the top of the layers if it doesn't paste there automatically and crop off any extra footage that you don't need. Step six, mask out the parts you want to animate. You can create a new layer mask by clicking the icon on the bottom right corner and you can use the brush tool to erase the elements you want to be in motion. Basically what's happening here is you're erasing part of the still photo, revealing the video underneath. This creates the still parts of the cinemagraph and the motion parts of the cinemagraph. Step seven, export the clip as either a GIF or a video. To save as a GIF, which is great for Twitter or websites, click File, Export for Web, and in the dialog box, make sure it is set to loop forever instead of only once, then hit Save. To save as a video, which is great for Instagram, click File, Render Video. And that's it. That is how you create awesome drone cinemagraphs, perfect for bringing photos to life with motion. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.